Uh, this is Chloe Laman, August 9, 2007. I wanted to answer some questions here um, that I got from YouTube. Um, how do people get heavy metal poisoning? Well, I will go over that at large. And I'm going to start by how I got it myself. Um, well, it's a matter of fact, I don't really know, I can only speculate how I got heavy metal poisoning. After the doctors told me, hey, you have a very high level of aluminum in your blood and your urine, very high level of mercury in your blood and your urine, a significant level of lead, some trace of arsenic and some other heavy metals that I don't even remember the name, they are not as common and they are not as uh, toxic as the first three, lead, mercury and aluminum. Now how did I get them? Well, I will speculate about that. I was a big fish eater, so supposedly one contaminated fish and that's it, you can have serious symptoms of mercury poisoning. Uh, lead pipes, if you uh, grew up or are living in a very nice cottage for vacation or maybe you own one or maybe you, one of your family member has one and that has still some lead pipes in them uh, you can easily get contaminated with lead poisoning uh, for the aluminum um, if you go with food uh, if you drink out of out of soda can or out of a, a, a conserve those are made of aluminum cans um, on top of that, if you cook with a non-sticky pan with some special covering such as Tefal, just to name the most popular one, the most non-sticky pan are actually uh, covered with aluminum. So once they get old or once they get scraped by the fork or any kind of utensils, they actually contaminate the food that has been cooked with them. Now. Now, to give you an example, now I only cook with stainless steel because that's a safe way. St steel is not a heavy metal. <laughs> it's a metal, period. And it's not toxic. Uh, I, um, I would recommend when you use Tefal, just make sure it's a brand new pan and you only use like wood with it or plastic, um, uh, plastic wares. Some uh, very interesting um, metal poisoning you can get is like medication. Now, a, a lot of medication are made with heavy metals. Now, the manufacturer of that medication will tell you, well, uh, it's not as toxic because we prepare it uh, in a certain way. And for example, I just read in the news that they are going to create a, a medication, I, I believe, for Alzheimer using arsenic. Now, arsenic is a heavy metal and it's extremely toxic. But the manufacturer came up with the idea and it's probably justified that it's organic arsenic so from there it's safe fair enough I think I prefer to uh, not remember anything than just to have to live with uh, movement disorders again um, if you're not familiar with the effects um, the I made some um, so a friend of mine actually made some videos um, of some symptoms I, will, I was experiencing when I was sick and you can find them um, on YouTube as well. Um, so to keep on track um, what else is a contaminant? Um, I, I went over the medications also um, I, I, when you were a baby some um, some shots that you were given as a baby to, to protect you, your health were actually made out of mercury. You probably heard of mercurochrome this uh, children uh, antiseptic that was a red color at the time and probably is still now um, and I think mercurochrome might still exist uh, they actually remove the mercury out of it uh, it stings less but uh, I don't know how much effective more it is but uh, anyway it was a good uh, it was a good move thank you um, for removing this poison out of our medications for children now where else can you get poison? Well, if, you, uh, if you're if you a high-tech guy or even if you just own a computer and you probably do or else uh, you are watching YouTube or have a friend um, well, if your computer starts smoking one of those days well, stay away ventilate, don't go near it don't go, oh my god, what happened to my computer? <laughs> That's it, you're infected 
um, yes, stay away from the fumes. Uh, the fumes will contain aluminum, mercury, uh, arsenic, you name it. It's uh, a lot more compound than even in cigarettes. Uh, uh, all kind of, uh, uh, you know, computers are designed to, to work, not to smoke. So when they fry, uh, when they fry, only touch them if you have to open them or, or if you try to figure them out with gloves, plastic gloves, and also put a mask over your head. And I'm not kidding. And uh, the best way would actually if you you would go out, except if it's snowing and it's a blizzard. Um, but that's really the way to go. It's extremely toxic. Uh, um, Reventilate uh, everything, and um, and good luck. Um, now I talked about computers because it's obvious when they smoke. But now you have all kind of smaller device, uh, cell phones, or. Uh, um, digital cameras, you name it, uh, VCRs, DVDs, you name it, in your car, everywhere, fuses blowing, everything. <sighs> so, when something is not, it stops functioning, don't take it apart, and don't take a look if it's a battery that leaked, oh, thanks God, it's just a battery that leaked, well, no, the batteries are also extremely toxic, even the battery that say mercury free, if you really read in between the line, it will tell you that there is mercury in them. Yes, I know. How are they going to call the really mercury free batteries? Maybe in some days. Now, the button batteries are even more toxic. Of course, in the old ages, thermometers were made of mercury, so if you still have one of those at home and it breaks, well, make sure, um, make sure that uh, the mercury is not being touched neither by animals, children or anyone and that it's being um, put away safely and it doesn't mean to put it in the trash can so someone else is going to get it you just you just go and recycle it the proper way which I don't know what it is to tell you the truth uh, but I would just take it to the pharmacist um, now um, some other ways to get contaminated um, is uh, well um, contaminated water um, unfortunately uh, if you go swim uh, in a lake or um, s or maybe also artificial lakes or, or rivers um, what used to happen is that uh, hunters were using in the past a lot of lead cartridges um, and so um, that's how the fish got contaminated in the first place. They would swallow those little, um, little tiny bullets containing cartridges, and thinking it's plankton or something that is going to be good for them. And so, of course, they will get uh, sick out of the lead, and they will be easier to catch. And so they will easily end up in a plate. And that's how you can. It's like a. It's like a cycle. It's a, it's a, it's like the evolution cycle. How uh, toxic uh, fish uh, get actually caught faster and uh, easier easily, and they end up in the plate more than likely. Uh, if you go with farm fish like farm salmon, even worse. Uh, for some reason, the water they use is actually uh, most most of them is contaminated water. So you, if you really love fish, stay away from river fish. Uh, stay away from farm fish. Um, if you really have to eat fish, you, you eat uh, something coming out the ocean, um, like something you know is is really uh, caught at large. Um, well, uh, also if you have an older car or if you used to drive an older car, um, and uh, well, I'm looking at the time here. Um, there was some R12 air conditioning, R12 that used to leak and that is now illegal. It has been replaced by R134, but R12 was extremely toxic, containing all kind of heavy metal. So if your AC leaked while you were driving this kind of car, if your, still, if your car still has it, uh, have it replaced safely, very safely. Uh, well, thank you for listening. That's the end of our program. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks, bye.